Governor Brian Kemp has expanded the criteria for those eligible to receive the COVID vaccine to soon include teachers. And that is our top story tonight. It's the news that many have just been waiting so long to hear. Starting March 8th, educators and staff K through 12, along with pre K and daycare teachers and staff can all get the vaccine. That's along with adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their caregivers. Parents with children with complex medical conditions are also included. For many Georgians tonight, it meets hope after a year of fear brought on by the pandemic. All new tonight, 11 Alive's John Sherrick has reaction from those who will be directly impacted. It's as if a death sentence has been lifted from Jacob Moore, 21 years old, born with Down syndrome, a cancer survivor, and at high risk of getting COVID and dying from it. But now in Georgia, Jacob can get the COVID vaccine along with his parents and brother who are his caregivers. It moved me to tears when I finally heard the words. Jacob's mother, Heidi Moore, part of a grassroots movement of thousands of high-risk patients and their families across Georgia, who have been lobbying Governor Brian Kemp for weeks. Uh, words cannot describe how happy um, our population is. This is finally gives us hope that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. If anything, it proves that advocacy works and to never give up. Georgia teachers lobbied too, and now they're in. I think it's great. Jasmine Casilla, an eighth grade teacher in DeKalb County, grateful but also worried. And as she spoke with me online, the internet connection failed and we had to finish talking over the phone. She's worried for herself and other teachers about the lag time between her return to in-person instruction and getting vaccinated. I'm returning to the classroom and I'm not vaccinated. But I'm very glad and very grateful that we do have this option. Governor Kemp said again that the time to return to in-person learning in Georgia is now, not after everyone's vaccinated, not in the fall, but now. So that there's no more time lost on these precious children that we have. They are the future of this state. And now with the vaccines, for many, it may literally mean they have a future. You know, Jennifer, a lot of people want to know how many Georgians are actually impacted by this expansion. So here are three big takeaways from all of this data that we're getting. First, opening shots up to teachers and those with some health conditions will double the number of people who qualify in our state. Nearly 3 million Georgians fall into the group with health conditions and more than 100,000 are in the educator category. Second, a little less than half of the state's population falls into one of the five eligible groups. So that includes people 65 and up, healthcare workers, educators, first responders, and those with health conditions. And about 75% of the current eligible group has received at least a first dose. Now the number of, in the blue represents more than 1.1 million Georgians. More than 875,000 people are yet to be vaccinated. That's the number in green. The move by Governor Kemp is a big conversation online tonight. We are where Atlanta speaks and many of you are sharing your thoughts on the expansion. Some saying it's about time. Others like Heidi saying thank you to the governor for including vulnerable populations. She says we appreciate the opportunity for a breakdown of how Metro districts plan to help their educators get these shots. You can head over to 11alive.com.